Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangroos unit of the week. And today, we are taking a look at the T72 M2 Moderna for the Czechoslovakians. So, the Czechs and Slovaks pretty much needed to upgrade their old T72s, as with modern technology and bigger, more badder tanks being released from different nations, they needed some extra firepower. So they came up with the Moderna tank, the T72 Moderna. Now the M1 model of the Moderna, they pretty much added a better gun, better electronics, more armor on the front. You see a bit of reactive armor on the front of this tank. But instead of having a like turret mounted machine gun, like a 50 cal machine gun, they said, bugger yeah, let's put two 20 millimeter auto cannons on the side for the M1 version which was pretty much good for dealing with close range air threats and for dealing with like the armoured targets. M2 version of the Moderna, the one we see in game, is pretty much exactly the same as the M run, but instead they removed uh, two 20mm autocannons and replaced it with one 30mm autocannon, which they thought was better for dealing with aircraft and like the armoured targets, as it's well a bigger calibre. In game, the M2 Moderna is a 165 point sex of vacuum tank. If the year restricts from 1995, meaning you can only use it in Cat A decks, type restriction of armoured, and it is also prototyped. If we take a look at its first weapon, the 2A46M, which is pretty much an upgraded 125mm T72 cannon, has a range of ground of 2.275km, 55% accuracy, 45% run on the move, 23 AP power, 4 HE power, and a nice rate of fire of 8 rounds a minute. Overall, it's your, pretty much your standard super heavy tank cannon. It can deal with Chally 2s and Leopard 2A5 is quite fine. Has a slightly better rate of fire compared to standard T72s. And it also has some good HE power because of the actual size of the bloody cannon. And if you take a look at its second weapon, we've got the 284-230mm autocannon. You have a range of ground of 1.5km, same range against helicopters, 25% accuracy, 10% stabilizers, 2 armor penetration, and a nice rate of fire of 562 rounds a minute. It's a pretty decent autocannon per se. It's better than like the ones that you get on top of an MBT-70 and on an AMX line of tanks. It is still pretty inaccurate though, with only a 25% accuracy rate, and you don't get much ammunition either, only 255 rounds, which you use up very quickly. And if you take a look at its miscellaneous stats, it has 20 on the front armor, 10 on the side, 5 on back, and 4 up top, with medium size, medium optics, a very good off-road speed of 70 km an hour, a nice on-road speed of 110 km an hour, also has very good autonomy of a 700 km autonomous radius. In battle, the Moderna is pretty much your standard super heavy tank. It's like your PT-91 Tradi. It's like your Leopard 2A5 in a way. Has a good amount of frontal armor, a nice powerful big gun that can deal with other super heavy tanks. And it's also quite expensive at 165 points. Now the thing that obviously makes a difference is the 30mm autocannon, which gives this tank a lot more defensibility yeah, other super heavy tanks don't. Because of the autocannon, you can defend yourself well against infantry targets, against helicopters that are getting a little bit too close, and heck, even against lightly armoured vehicles, you may be trying to flank you. The other main problem though with the autocannon is that you don't get much ammunition. It burns through ammunition very fast. Those 255 rounds will be gone in a heartbeat if you don't actually pay attention. You want to save it for when you really need it, like when that infantry squad is about to flank you into your Panzer Faust 3 in your side armour, or when that Apache longbow think it's a rise idea to be at a kilometre distance to shoot a Hellfire missile. And just as long as you keep the tank safe, don't try charging into towns just because you have an auto cannon on top, the tank will serve you quite well. Even just if it's armour and main cannon, it can deal with all those nasty, super heavy tank threats very easily. And if you use the auto cannon sparingly and against the right target, it's a very good self defense weapon. And, well, that's all I have time for. This has been another Rang Rouge unit of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and most importantly, Take it easy.